Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and on Tuesdays, uh, or close to it, I try to come live or give a video on what I've been working on in my craft room, and usually it revolves around something that Stampin' Up! has going on. Um, how many of you guys are fussy cutters? Raise your hand. I know that there are some fussy cutters out there who just love to stamp an image and cut it out by hand with their scissor and it's therapeutic for them. But unfortunately for me, I am not. I don't enjoy fussy cutting. Um, so this new promotion by Stampin' Up is perfect for me and it's actually called Perfect Partners. Um, they've taken six of stamp sets that were in the annual catalog and the July through December 2022 mini catalog that were just stamp sets alone. And then um, created dies for those stamp sets. And so through the month of September, you can buy the stamp set and the die together as a bundle and save 10%. If you already have the stamp set, then, um, then you can just buy the dies. Um, so I'm going to show you one of those products this morning. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Joan. So, oh, and Beth, I know Beth is a, she's a fussy cutter. She loves to fussy cut. Sarah, I didn't know you liked to fussy cut, but thanks for joining me on the Perfect Partners promotion. Let me pop you down to the desk and show you what I've got going on today. I'm using one of the six sets. Um, so the Perfect Partners, uh, through the 30th, um, the Apple Harvest stamp set now has coordinating dies. The Fresh Cut Flowers has coordinating dies, as well as, um, good morning, Teresa. These cute little, this birthday piggy has coordinating dies. Trimming the Tree, Waterfall Canyon, and Yeti to Party. Good morning, April. So now um, those stamp sets, which were standalone stamp sets, now have coordinating dies, and you can get those through September 30th, a limited time offer. I'm going to be using the Trimming the Tree stamp set, which is on page 43 in Stampin' Up's annual catalog. And then the coordinating dies just released are the Tree Trimmings dies. So here's the stamp set, it's photopolymer. It's two-step, which means that um, a couple of the images require, um, not require, but work best when there are two steps to making that stamp. And then here are the coordinating dies. And there are a ton of little dies in here. And they're all meant to um, like actually trim the tree. So um, here's my stamp set. The This big die outlines that tree um, let me close that. There we go. Um, I love this little, um, it's a little stitched oval and it, it fits in there. We've got, um, another label that's stitched and that would, that would cover this one. Um, we have tree trimmings and then we have, um, a pot for the tree and just a ton of little embellishments. So we have ornaments and more ornaments and bows and stars and um, all kinds of things to help make your holiday card making easier. So I've been playing around with this. I posted one example on my blog on Saturday and I'll have more coming up. But um, these are the two that um, I created and I'm gonna be showing how I made this one today. So this one um, uses the um, Trimming the Tree stamp set, the tree trimming styles, the, um, let me grab out my papers to, good morning, Lynn, thanks for popping in. So I have um, an evening evergreen base that measures 11 by four and a quarter and I've scored it at five and a half. I have a piece of the uh, the cherry cobbler. This is from the Festive Foils specialty paper. Good morning, Judy. And this paper is just, I love this specialty. It's just gorgeous. So there's the cherry cobbler. It also has um, a gold piece as well as 
soft succulent. Let me grab out a little example of that. So, um, hi Deb, thanks for joining. We're using the trimming, the tree stamp set and the tree trimming dies um, to create another holiday card. So I've got that cherry cobbler that's five and a quarter by four. Uh, and I've got a piece for the inside that's white, five and a quarter by four. I have a piece on which I'm going to stamp the tree. Uh, that gold, the gold foil, that gold glimmer that comes with evergreen and very vanilla. I also have a soft succulent piece that measures four by one and a half. I've already cut the little pot for the tree. I cut that with crumb cake. And then I have some tree trimmings that I also cut out of that, good morning, Kathy, tree trimmings that I cut out of that gold glimmer. What I did also was put um, some of Stampin' Up's adhesive sheets on the back so it will make it easier to work with. And then I have a little star for the tippy top of the tree. So let's, um, let me also just show you the other color. Uh, I used the soft succulent piece in the background, same card different colors but you can see kind of the difference that makes but all the the fun gold and glimmer on that one so let's let's stamp because this is a photopolymer um i always i like to use my um stamp and pierce mat how are things in northeast ohio kathy i hope they're good um, it's September, so that's amazing. Um, we're going to use Evening Evergreen for the base of the tree. Uh, I'll just ink that from the top, get a good coverage of that on there. Um, and stamp it on my... scratch piece of paper, my little... I'm just uh, pressing down evenly and firmly to get a good image on there. And then there's um, this stamp that adds just a little bit of dimension to the tree. So this is where the two-step stamping come in, comes in. You can see all those little spaces in the tree, and you could leave it like that if you wanted to. But if you wanted to add a different dimension, I'm going to be putting some soft succulent in there. Um, and this isn't perfect. It, there's lots of little spaces and you just kind of eye it up. And because it's photopolymer see-through, you can kind of see where it's going to go. But that just adds a little bit, a um, little bit to your tree. And then you would die cut that using um, the tree I showed you. Um, go die cut that in now um, what's interesting is all of the offerings in the perfect partners they all fit in the mini stamping cut in a boss machine so if that's what you have that will work perfectly um, for that so I have the tree all ready to go so um, actually while we have our we do need to do a little bit more stamping I'm going to stamp the inside of the card as well with with my tree um, I don't want to get that on my mat so I'm just gonna do this quick just gonna put that down down in the corner still leave some room to write a message if you like and there we go we'll set that aside for when we get to putting that in the inside and then we of course we need a sentiment let me pop that up um, and I am putting that on the soft succulent piece and I do have uh, my cherry cobbler. Good morning, Barb, thanks for popping in. Hope all is well. So as we're using the tree trimming uh, stamp set with the coordinating brand new tree trimmings dies. May your season be merry and bright with the cherry cobbler. Let me just practice down here in the corner on my grid paper. Got to do better than that on my sentiment, but I've got that. I want it just way over here on the left-hand side. There we go. Um, what I love about this layout 
is that it can be used with a lot of different papers and um, stamp sets. So um, whatever you have, you could use this layout as a guide. All right, so now we just, let's try to put our card together. We have all the pieces. There's lots of little pieces, but um, uh, they can use as many as you want or not to adorn that tree. I'm just using some stamp and seal. Plus, I'm going to put that um, sentiment onto my, my gold glimmer. I just love all the shimmer and shine that goes on. Um, there we go. Let's see. And this is my evening evergreen. And I will put this festive foils cherry cobbler piece on the front of that card and build from there. I just ordered another piece of that festive foil um, package of paper because I just really love it. It's so pretty and it just, it just, it's a very subtle background. All right, and then we need to put the sentiment on. And I just did all this flat. We'll pop up the tree shortly, but we have to embellish the tree before we do that. All right, so when I try to get this, I use the grid paper to um, kind of line that up. So if I'm three squares up on one side, I'm three squares up on the other side. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to kind of get started on the tree. I'm going to put that aside. I do have all these little glimmer pieces that I have already added the adhesive sheets to the back. So I just peel off the little bit of adhesive sheet. I know sometimes that sounds easier than it really is, but just peels off. Um, and I can decorate my tree right here, just like, kind of like making paper dolls, uh, putting the garland on. And you can think about all the different fun colors you could use to decorate your tree. Again, there are ornaments with this as well. I'm going to be trimming this off in a bit, you'll see. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This is uh, just getting some holiday cards in. I will probably have one more video on the trimming, uh, uh, the uh, perfect partners. So I'm just turning this over and then I can just trim off the pieces that don't work for me. Um, just with my little paper Oops, and it is sticky, but um, it helped me at least not use the, good morning, Christine, thanks for watching. I, I don't, then I don't have to use the fine tip glue or um, sometimes I'm not all that good, good with glue. Alrighty, so let's put the, attach the pot. I love that little pot. I am going to just put some glue dots on the back of my tree and um, hook it to the pot. There we go. I did, there's just even that, just that little um, texture to that is really fun. Get some Stampin' Dimensionals and put our tree on the front. And usually I have a mess to clean up, but who doesn't? Sometimes just finding that little spot to stamp in. I hope everyone had a nice long weekend. Got some stamping done or time with family. And then that just goes right here on the front. Simple, easy peasy. And let me grab the little star that I've cut out, die cut, and I'll put that on the tree, top the tree. All right, and I need some jewels. I need some jewels. I'm going to use the one of my faves, the champagne <laughs> rhinestone basic jewels. Let's see, I get my pick tool. I'll grab the big one. 
because there is a lot of space up on top that's kind of just out there and there we'll finish that up with that and then we do have the middle of the card to put together so all right there we go use some stamp and seal plus i've already put the tree on the inside you could stamp the envelope with the tree as well to finish to finish that out and here we go all right so that is the cherry cobbler version and this is the soft succulent version i couldn't decide which one i liked so i made one of each just as a reminder it uses the the trimming the tree stamp set which you can find in stampin up's annual catalog along with the tree trimming dies which are now available through september 30th um, when you buy the stamp set and the bundle together there's a 10 percent discount um, in the united states that's 46.75 and you can make a lot of christmas cards with that and the tree i think is also the tree dies these make a a 3d tree you could use these for any masculine cards nature cards as well so i hope you enjoyed the project today using that new bundle uh, i hope you have an awesome rest of the week and weekend you can find me online at kimplayswithpaper.com and um we'll see you next week thanks so much everyone Bye bye